The radar operator seats allows the bridge team to track contacts added by the instructor on the radar screen. After I join the scenario and the instructor has started the scenario, I will see the DDG at the center of the radar screen. Any other contacts within the maximum range of the radar display will be shown on the radar as blips in the relative locations. I can use the up and down keys to change the maximum range of the radar display between 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, and 40 nautical miles. Then I can use the mouse and left click zoom level display to change the range. There are two different radar modes that can be toggled by pressing spacebar or by clicking mode display. You can select either ship's up mode, where 000 indicates the direction the ship is moving, or true north mode, where 000 indicates north. The red marker on the degree scale shows the heading of the student ship. Left clicking in the radar display will create a marker on the radar. Bearing and distance from the ship to the marker will be displayed in the upper corners of the screen. All of my controls allow me to be ready to call out contact designations and positions to the maneuvering board team so they can determine what appropriate course, speed, and CPA are to avoid collisions. I may check the charts from time to time to see where the navigator thinks the ship is to validate navigation marks. For now, we have only one NPC contact. The other